There may be times when you want to change the origin reference point from the default in this part, which is the xy plane, yz plane, and zx plane, shown here in the center of the part, as well as in the specification tree here on the left, and change that point somewhere else within your part. This is basically for an easier reference. Now to do that, go down to your section bar and make sure that you are in the wireframe section. And with under that, you'll find the axis system. Now if you don't see it shown here in the action bar, go ahead and select this downward arrow button and go ahead and search for it here and then select on it. If you notice right away, we get an axis system definition dialog box. And if we take a look at the center of our part from where our original reference point is, you notice that there is another axis system placed there by default. And if we look over to the left in the specification tree, notice that we have a new node under axis systems, and underneath we have another axis system. And we could tell that it is highlighted, and it is current because it is a yellow-orange color of an axis icon. Now we also have three different types, including the standard, axis rotation, and Euler. For this demonstration, we're going to do standard. Now we can change our default origin by selecting a point anywhere on our model. I'm going to go ahead and select this one down here. Now notice that's considered our origin. Now if we want to go ahead and change any of these axes, go ahead and select one of these lines that are connected to your original point. And notice now on the x-axis, I can reverse that by selecting the reverse button. Now if I want to do another one, I can go ahead and select another line on this side, which will give me the option to change or reverse how I want my axis to work. Now if we look down at the reference area, we have the axis system, which has a default of the absolute axis. This is set as the current axis system. And we also have a check that will allow us to make sure that it is under the axis systems node. As you can see in the specification tree, that this axis system is here and it is current. Now once you're happy with your axis system, go ahead and select OK. If you don't want to make this current and you want to revert back to the original axis system, which is the x, y, y, z, and z, x planes, go ahead and right click on the axis system go down to the axis system object and in that box go down to set as not current it is shown here but it is not active because you can see that the icon is now in black and your original axis system is now the current one to place it back as your current one go ahead right click again go down to the axis system object and go down to as set as current and notice now that the axis system icon is again a yellowish orange color meaning that it is the current and active system now you can also remove this completely by right clicking on it go ahead and select delete select OK and notice that it is now gone and that is adding an axis system within wireframe.